So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 75 of our F1 Manager Save. Now, if you didn't watch the last episode in Miami, go back and watch that. Mick Schumacher had a shocking day. Lando Norris had a pretty decent one. I think we could have done better on the strategy, it must be said. Max Verstappen won that race. Lando finishing in P2, Sergio Perez in P3. It's all leading up to a very, very exciting title race this year in both constructors and drivers. Constructors standings wide first late. Red Bull are leading by 22 points from us, Ferrari. And McLaren are only a further seven points behind as well. Driver standings wise, Lando Norris is back top of the driver standings. Charles Leclerc dropping a place, but Sergio Perez is in P3. And Max Verstappen, do not count the Dutchman out. He's going to be in this fight all the way to the end. Mick Schumacher languishing down in eighth. He had a shocking day last time out where he finally retired the car in the end because it wasn't worth him smashing into anything else. So Mick Schumacher, not the greatest time in Miami. Let's hope he can change that in today's race. And today's race leads us to Catalonia in Spain. 66 laps round here. Max Verstappen holds the lap record. Car attributes, low and medium speed cornering and acceleration. Our car's particularly good at that. Expected strategies is a two-stop from mediums onto softs or soft, medium, soft. Uh, we can have a look at that. There's going to be some uh, different strategies during the race. We've got to get the strategy spot on this weekend. Just to bring you up to date on what's happening with the car parts development, we've just had some new suspension go on. We are looking at a new chassis, which is going to be done for the next race. Rear wing's going to be a little bit longer, uh, and the side pods as well, nine days' time. So we've got a lot going on at Ferrari. We've just had our factory, just to bring you up to date on the facilities as well. We've just had the factory upgraded to the max level, along with the design centre now. So everything's looking really, really good at Ferrari at the moment. So now I'm going to get through all the practice sessions and we'll see you in qualifying for the Spanish Grand Prix. Formula One has cranked up the heat over Barcelona. The first Grand Prix held here was won by Nigel Mansell after a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle with Ayrton Senna. But who will follow in his footsteps this weekend? Long straights and medium speed turns dominate here, but there's something else to watch out for at Barcelona. The air currents are strong and unpredictable, and they'll be giving aerodynamic components a real run for their money this weekend. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Formula One. So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, last laps in Q3. Now, Lando Norris is purple through the first and second sectors. He's had blistering pace all weekend. It's looking very, very promising for Lando Norris to get this Ferrari on pole this weekend. As he comes down the final corner to cross the line, Lando Norris goes on pole by three hundredths of a second. Mick Schumacher now coming around the final corner. He's been a decent performance from Mick Schumacher all weekend in qualifying and he jumps up to P4 Mick Schumacher provisional P4 I believe Perez and Magnussen may still be on laps we'll fast forward that through Mick Schumacher has got a five place grid penalty after the incidents in Miami last weekend but Lando Norris snatches Paul off Max Verstappen it must be said Max Verstappen did top Q1 and Q2 but only because we had one run and one set of tyres in Q1 and Q2 for Lando Norris Fantastic work from him. Mick Schumacher P4. He'll start P9. Let's have a look at the strategy. Right, guys. I've got a couple of options here and I want to go through them with you. Now, from my experience as the Aston Martin team principal, I've got a funny feeling that the soft, medium, medium is the optimal strategy because those mediums do last a lot better than the softs. Lando Norris has probably never been in a stronger position strategy-wise as he is this race. If we have a look at his compounds, He's got two softs, two mediums, and a fresh set of hards as well. He's absolutely buzzing, Lando Norris. Uh, meanwhile, Mick Schumacher, not quite as in a fortunate position. Uh, he's only got one really fresh set of soft compound tyres. We are going to go soft, medium, medium with Mick Schumacher. Both our cars starting on the soft compound tyres. The idea for Lando Norris is to absolutely bolt early. That is the plan. We're going to tell him to deploy straight away from the off. Get away as quick as he possibly can and then we should be absolutely laughing. So that's the plan with Lando Norris. Different plan for Mick Schumacher. He's got to try and make up positions, but I'm sure we will do that. I'm excited for this one. We normally go well around here, my drivers, and I'm hoping the same will be said at Ferrari. Let's get to five red lights. One of the oldest races on the Formula One calendar. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. 
And away we go, and straight away we are looking at Lando Norito. He's deflating on that ERF, and he looks like he's managed to keep hold of P1 as we run down to turn one. Verstappen starting on the medium. Let's have a little look at the tyre strategies here. Verstappen's on the medium, Leclerc's on a new set of soft. Joe Perez on medium, Magnussen on new sets of soft. Mick Schumacher on the new set of soft compound tyres. So Mick Schumacher awesome. already gaining a place. And he's passed uh, Esteban Ocon early doors uh, up into P8. Kevin Magnussen making moves on uh, Danny Ricciardo as well. But as we come round the first sector, Lando Norris is leading at Max Verstappen by four tenths of a second. Mick Schumacher yeah, wowing it because he's just lost the place on P7. He's in a real ding dong battle here, Mick Schumacher. We're going to keep his eye on this because I reckon Mick Schumacher's going to have a very positive start here in this race. And straight away, two seconds behind um, as we're going around these first few corners. But Lando Norris is absolutely bolting. Mick Schumacher will ride on board with the young German looking left and right at the back of that McLaren of Danny Ricciardo at this moment in time. Can he make a move? We're actually going to give Mick Schumacher a little bit of ERS to get him past Danny Ricciardo. I think he'll get past him in this next sector or down the start finish straight so we're going to ride on board with him as Lando Norris as we just switch back to the leader has pulled out a second gap over Max Verstappen we're going to tell him to just cool it on the ERS a little bit now that soft compound tyre should really come into its own now but Lando Norris 1.1 seconds and the gap is opening up meanwhile we are back on board with Mick Schumacher can he make a move into this corner he's looking to the inside of Danny Ricciardo that's going to turn to the outside into turn two but Danny Ricciardo defends a very very well but he's still keeping his nose in Mick Schumacher he possibly knows he's under a little bit of pressure after what happened in Miami but Mick Schumacher is overtaking Bonington Pete Bono said very well executed I'm inclined to agree Mick Schumacher up to P7 we rather enjoyed that and we'll watch this little replay we saw it live but he's done well we thought the chance had gone into turn two there but he's kept his nose in and beautifully managed to get round him that McLaren on the medium compound tyre, like I said, Mick's going soft, medium, medium. He may play well on strategy today, Mick Schumacher. Are we going to get some shots at our garage? We are, and I think that side of the garage in particular will be very, very happy after last weekend. Uh, so there, we'll have a full rundown. We've got Norris, 1.2 seconds, the gap to Verstappen in second, Leclerc, P3. Uh, Guan Yu Jojo, Guan Yu P4, Sergio Perez in P5, Magnussen P6, then comes Mick Schumacher, Danny Ricciardo, Esteban Ocon, Pierre Gasler in the Aston Martin in P10. On lap We're going to bring you back as Guan Yu Zhou has just spun. Let's, Let's have a little look at this. You can see Mick Schumacher, maybe it was the pressure that uh, Mick Schumacher was putting on at Zhou Guan Yu there. It's not ideal for Zhou Guan Yu. He was doing very, very well in the Lotus Renault. Mick Schumacher, though, now has dropped out of DRS due to that little spin. So he's going to have to deploy some ERS now and try and catch up with Magnussen and Perez because we don't want to lose touch with these guys. But these two guys battling in front, as we can see, we'll keep an eye on this Magnussen and Perez battle. But Mick Schumacher's been told, just hurry, hurry up a little bit, catch back up to these guys, and then we're sitting in the DRS once again. So that's Mick Schumacher's job for the next little bit of this lap, and we'll tell him to push on the fuel as well uh, as we're desperate to get back in the ERS at this moment in time. Uh, meanwhile, Lando Norris, the gap to, the gap to Verstappen, now two seconds. Leclerc and uh, Verstappen not really working well as a team. 78% now, the soft compound tyres of the Charles Leclerc. We may have the tyre advantage towards the end of this Grand Prix. We're just keeping an eye. Looks like we've got another car spinning, and it appears to be the DHL Mercedes of Valtteri Bottas. Uh, and we're going to get a replay of this as well. A couple of cars spinning out already. We're hoping our guys aren't going to do it. Bottas just not managing to keep it on the track there but Mick Schumacher now is back to within two seconds of uh, Checo Perez and he's actually having a look at him and we'll now switch him back down to the balance think about we it. don't need think to uh, we don't need to cook the tyres and cook the battery so much early on so it's still Norris leading from Verstappen and Leclerc who are battling away the two Red Bulls we'll just have a little look if I can uh, sort the cameras out We'll just have a little look on board from Charles Leclerc's point of view as he's looking at the back of his team there. Now, are they going to have a little battle down this start finish straight? Max Verstappen goes defensive. And Charles Leclerc looking to come through. Mick Fastest Schumacher lap. has just got the new fastest lap of the Grand Prix in the Ferrari. And it's Charles Leclerc now who's through. And this battling is only helping one man on circuit. And that man is Lando Norris, who's having a lovely time out from 2.5 seconds the gap. 
fast to all the Red Bulls. Bulls. And at the moment, it's a, it's a Mick Schumacher world, and we're living in it because Mick Schumacher with the DRS manages to get past the Audi. I think it's Kevin Magnussen that he's got past him, and now he's got Checo Perez in his sights. Remember, these soft compound runners are all going to be pitting a little bit earlier than us here. So we've got a chance to overcut these guys, especially with Mick Schumacher, who's got the tyre advantage. I mean, he's keeping up with the uh, medium runners at this moment in time. So Mick Schumacher really, really looking in a strong position, as is that man, Lando Norris. Yellow flags on lap nine, and it is that man, Checo Perez. Mick Schumacher is causing people some real problems so far this afternoon. And Sergio Perez, under pressure from the young German, spins his car. Mick Schumacher had a few of them last week. But now it's a case of Mick Schumacher. He's in P4. Porter is just thinking, is it worth trying to push and catch up to Leclerc and Verstappen? He's now in play with this battle at the front, Mick Schumacher. Very, very impressive performance from the young German so far this afternoon. Lando Norris now gap to Verstappen, 3.4 seconds. It's a very, uh, uh, very action-packed Grand Prix, this Lance Stroll, obviously our former driver at Aston Martin in the Nissan, and he looks like he's just locked up his front right and gone steaming into the wall. No safety car, plenty of runoff area here. Uh, we did have some yellow flags, gap to Verstappen now, 3.7 seconds. Very action-packed race this so far. I just don't want to see either our guy making any errors. Okay, guys, so lap 22, just to bring you into the picture, we've got a few cars pitting. We were looking at Lando Norris, we reckon 22 seconds. Albon and Russell were hoping to get him out in front of those two cars. That's the plan at this moment in time. If we can get Lando out in front of those two, I would be a very, very happy bunny. Equally, Mick Schumacher could also come out in some nice clean air as well. But we'll come back towards okay. the end of this lap and see the pit there stops. then, guys. Just missed the pit stops, unfortunately. Norris is just coming out with the pit lane. Mick Schumacher's in for his. We told Lando Norris to push a little bit on his in-lap to try and, over, and try and get out in front of Russell and Albon. Albon's in anyway. Russell's the one we wanted to avoid. Where is George Russell? We've done it. Lando Norris is out into clean air. Great strategy from the guys. Now, where is Mick Schumacher going to come out? Let's have a little look at this. Very important part of this race for both our cars. Signs, Perez is back in front. Uh, but Mick Schumacher is coming out and he's coming out in a bit of clean air. Looks like he's going to come out in front of Esteban Ocon and he's got a few cars in front of him that are yet to pit. Perez is one of them. Leclerc's pit. So he's got a few cars in front that are yet to pit but he's got a nice gap to Vettel now as well. So he's got clean air to use at these tyres as well. Both our cars in a very, very good position. Verstappen is the one yet to pit. Right. Max Verstappen pitting at lap 25. Now, this is going to be very interesting. He was on the medium. He's going medium, medium, soft is Max Verstappen. No. Lando Norris has just set the new fastest lap of the Grand Prix. I'd like to say I'm managing this beautifully. From the pit stop point of view and strategy, I believe I am, but the drivers are driving so well. I'm just sat on the pit wall with my arms crossed, rather enjoying life. And Max Verstappen, again, him and his teammate cannot be separated and that's going to hold them up a little bit as well. Danny Ricciardo now, he was fighting with, uh, with uh, Mick Schumacher, he's dropped back a little bit as well. Mick Schumacher seems to be towing Esteban Ocon along at this moment in time, uh, which isn't ideal, but he's, uh, he's doing a good job, very bless him. Uh, in front of Mick Schumacher, if we have a look at the cars yet to pit, Perez, Sainz and Vettel all yet to pit, so he's going to go up to P4, net P4 for Mick Schumacher. The big decision now for both our drivers is what happens at the last stint. That is the big thing for us now. Both of them have got medium compound, fresh medium compound tyres. Lando Norris has got a fresh set of soft compound tyres to go on to. If we look at what happened earlier in the Grand Prix, he did 22 laps on a fresh set of soft compound tyres. We are expecting the strategy is for him to come in around at lap 47, 48. So really, it's soft compound tyres towards the end for Lando Norris. Mick Schumacher is going to be on the mediums, I believe. But I think that may pay dividends towards the end. Lap 25. Sebastian Vettel not having the best of afternoon so far. He's ran wide and held a lot of cars up there. One of those cars being Mick Schumacher, who's now been told, use your overtake and let's get past these cars. And also driving a little bit of clean air as well, because we need to get past these cars. This is important for Mick's race. And if he uses the overtake, he may get past these. He's got Vettel and Ocon battling in front of him. That's really helped out Carlos Sainz, but I think a P4 is still very much on for Mick Schumacher here. As he uses the overtake now, he's going to be told to push on fuel as well. He's going to get DRS down this straight, and straight away he should have the pace on the Haas, both in terms of car performance and the tyres. 
And then he's got Esteban Ocon, who he's really, really attempting to get past. He doesn't manage to make the overtake, Mitchell Mecca, as we switch back to TV mode. But he's really in a battle now, and he's had to do a lot of driving so far this afternoon. We'll keep his eye on this, lap 27. Right, we're going to watch Schumacher overtaking okay, Ocon, because he's got the DRS, and he's making a cracking fight of this. Uh, and what these two are doing, Sebastian Vell is actually playing a blinder for his young prodigy because he's holding up the cars behind as well, which is really going well. I, I'm guessing he's got this move done uh, by the time we get onto the start finish straight. If we just have a little look, we're enjoying it once again in the Ferrari garage. Uh, but no, Mick Schumacher, P6. Lando Norris has just set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, a 120.3. If we have a look at the last laps, he was a second mil, well, eight tenths, nine tenths quicker than Max Verstappen on that last lap. This race is Lando Norris' to lose, but Mick Schumacher has just taken the fastest lap off of uh, Lando Norris. And what he has managed to do is put an Aston Martin between himself and Esteban Ocon. And what we're now going to tell Mick Schumacher to do is now he's got that little buffer and that rear gunner, this could be his chance to absolutely bow away for P4. Ocon's going to get held up behind signs. This is absolutely huge for Mick Schumacher. We'll come back on the next lap and see if he's managed to get away from the Aston Martin. And has he ever? Mick Schumacher, 1.5 seconds gap to Ocon. Lando Norris is just pumping in fastest lap after fastest lap. It's got to be so demoralising this if you're Max Verstappen and Christian Horner. But I don't like sat here waxing lyrical about me drivers because it tends to come back and bite me on the arse for want of a better phrase. And I don't know the Italian for that. But Lando Norris, 7.7 .7 seconds. And him and Mick Schumacher are trading fastest laps at this moment in time. 119.8 for Mick Schumacher. Lap 30, we might as well have a rundown. Lando Norris is comfortably in P1, Verstappen P2, Leclerc P3, Schumacher 4, then comes Ocon, Ricardo, Magnussen, Gasly, Russell and Alexander Albon down in P10. Lap 30. Yeah. Yellow flags, sector 3, Max Verstappen having a funny old season. If we have a look, turn 5, he's with his teammate again. And what this may have actually done, he's held his teammate up a little bit as well. Max Verstappen spinning out. And what that has done, He's given Mick Schumacher some DRS. Mick Schumacher is on, possibly, for his first podium of the season. He's now on the back of Max Verstappen. Going to be very, very interesting to see at the end whether Mick can do it. Remember, Mick's going to be on the medium compound attire as well. So we may get a little bit of more pace towards the end. I'm hoping if Verstappen can just drag Schumacher along, that would be absolutely lovely. Meanwhile, Lando Norris is in the position, which we found ourselves in a couple of times this season, just saving the tyres a little bit, just making sure that that top compound stint at the end really, really is as simple as it can be. It's nearly 10 seconds to Charles Leclerc at this moment in time. Mick Schumacher just holding on to the back of Max Verstappen on lap 36. You absolutely love to see it. Right, now we've we got a crash on circuit. Bottom. I'll inform you on what decision we're just making at this moment in time. But we've got a crash here. Let's have a look. It's the uh, the Mercedes and the Haas the going into the sides. I'm not quite sure who that were. I think it was Bottas. It was Bottas and Latifi. The thing we're looking at here, 22 seconds for a pit stop. We reckon we can get Mick Schumacher out in clean air, which is a massive benefit for us. If we can get Mick Schumacher out in clean air and then push on the tyres, we've got a real chance of undercutting Max Verstappen. So that's the decision that's currently being made. We're going to give it one more lap and then go for it from there. Max Verstappen's tyres, a little bit better shape than ours, but this could really work for us on this next lap. Lap 44, by the way, Norris, 11 seconds the gap to Charles Leclerc. Right then, ladies and gents, this could be a huge, huge moment in Mick Schumacher's, I've said race, season, career. Can he undercut Max Verstappen to win the Spanish Grand Prix? That's the big question now. Lando Norris has got that much flexibility in this race. It's ridiculous. Um, he's got 20 seconds gap to Verstappen. I don't particularly want to get held up by Verstappen. So it's a decent pit stop from our team, not the best. Now, where is Sergio Perez? This is the key. I don't want him out in this gaggle of cars if I can help it. And they're coming down the start finish straight. Are we going to get stuck in some traffic here? This may not work for us. Mick Schumacher coming out and we have got some traffic for Mick Schumacher. He's got to clear these guys as quick 
as he possibly can but he is on fresh tyres now so hopefully he can make his way past these guys as quickly as he possibly can we'll come back in a little while when it's time for Norris's pit stop. now we've got a few more cars pitting but it's all eyes on Mick Schumacher and what he can do on this start finish straight he's got DRS he's got ERS is he going to be able to make a move on one if not two cars here he's looking down the inside of the Audi he can't quite get it done he's using overtake he's pushing on the fuel he knows how important this is to get him out we've got caught out with the traffic which i really didn't expect us to do i knew we were going to clear perez but the two guys in front have really dropped off there's obviously a bit of a shout for track limits there but Mick Schumacher, let's have a look, last lap compared to Verstappen. That was his outlap, so it's not a great barometer. But now Mick Schumacher is in the clear and he's been told to deploy and push on the fuel. Massive, massive moments this for, uh, for Mick Schumacher. And he's managed to get the job done there. He's gone down the inside of one and then managed to get past the Mercedes as well. You've got to give it to Mick Schumacher. He's driving like a Ferrari driver this afternoon. I've been thoroughly impressed with him. Charles Leclerc, next man into the pits. Let's see where he manages to come out. I would expect him to come out comfortable in terms of what p2 uh, let's have a little look to see if this undercut is going to work it's all about when max verstappen comes in really um and lando norris now we're just getting an extra couple of laps and then we're going to be in very very shortly and he's going to want to soft compound tires and then just drive away to the finish that is the plan with lando norris charles leclerc is going to come out comfortably in p2 well net p2 once verstappen pitch but mick schumacher now has now got 1.4 seconds to russell he's clear of the traffic and he's actually now catching up to Danny Ricardo in front of him. 118.8, last lap for Verstappen, 120.1. This is going to be very, very close when Max makes his pit stop. So here we go then, guys. Lap 49, Lando Norris is in for his pit stop. Now, he's drove a fantastic race so far. Leclerc is on to the soft compound tyre as well. Uh, we're going on to a fresh set of soft compound tyres. His performance in qualifying has really set him up for today's race. Lando now onto the soft compound tyre. 2.6 seconds is the gap. But the key thing is, he's going to come out in front. We know that. The key one is this. Max Verstappen is in to the pits. And Mick Schumacher, where is he going to come out in terms of Mick Schumacher? And what tyres is he putting on as well? Let's have a little look. Verstappen in the pit lane, Bono, excellent engineering there. Let's have a little look. I'm very interested to see where Verstappen is going to come out and what tyres. Is he on fresh soft compound tyres? Is he on new set? Mick Schumacher, he's coming down the start, finish straight, undercut complete. Max Verstappen is out of the pit lane. I think he's going to be on fresh soft compound tyres. He isn't, he's on used soft compound tyres. And we have got an incident. We've got somebody locking up, thank fortunately, it's not Mick Schumacher. Um, we're not overly upset if Verstappen catches us because we'll just hang on to the back of him, charge our battery up and then hammer him at the end. That's the plan. Alexander Albon spinning off there. So as it stands, Norris is in P1. Nine seconds is the gap to Charles Leclerc. Schumacher net P3. It's between Schumacher and Verstappen for P3 for a podium. What a end to the race this could be. Lap 50. Absolute complacency from Lando Norris. Locking up in turn four. He's on light tyre saving mode and he's locked up. That has took a big, big chunk out of his lead. He's now on at 6.5 seconds to Leclerc. We're going to tell him to go on to standard. We need to push a little bit more and just wake up a little bit because he's had it very, very easy so far here in Catalonia today. Meanwhile, Mick Schumacher, this is not a problem. He's harvesting the RS. We expected this. But now he's got the DRS on this next straight. We just want to charge the battery up. We know that this could come to us towards the end of this Grand Prix. And it could actually be a fantastic highlight reel as well. If Mick Schumacher manages to get his first podium at Ferrari today. Verstappen now in front as we come down the start finish straight again. All Mick Schumacher's got to do is keep charging the battery up. And we will use this DRS. Remember, a couple of DRS zones here in Catalonia. Seven tenths now the gap, but look at this. As soon as this DRS opens, down this start for this straight, that gap seriously starts to close. And Mick Schumacher closing up all the time. Six tenths of a second now. Verstappen goes defensive, interestingly. 
not really necessary there from the Dutchman. Uh, maybe a little bit of fear about the pace of this Ferrari, but Verstappen's tyres will be wearing a lot, lot quicker than Mick Schumacher's. I can assure you of that, and I reckon in 10, 15, well, what we got? In 12 laps time, it's going to be a very, very interesting race for Schumacher and Verstappen. Norris, no more mistakes, please. Lap 55, a quick check here. Lando Norris complaining about the tyres overheating, which is not ideal. Uh, but Mick Schumacher is doing his absolute utmost here to stay with Max Verstappen. What we don't need is any uh, bike markers getting in the way. That would not be ideal at all. But at this moment in time, Mick Schumacher sticking with Max Verstappen very, very well. Let's just have a look what we've got in front of us here. Um, is it Logan Sargent? I believe it's Logan Sargent who's in the way now. So we really don't want him giving Max Verstappen DRS down this next straight. And then we need him to get out of the way. But at the moment, Mick Schumacher doing a stonking job. I don't know if the, uh, Max Verstappen is going to get DRS here. Let's have a look. Keep a keen eye on that rear wing of the Red Bull. There's no DRS for Max Verstappen. And he's parked it really in the middle of the road here. But Mick Schumacher pushing up to the back of him. We're going to go on balance fuel saving now. But we are waiting for these tyres of Max Verstappen to die off a little bit here. They're not doing it at the moment. And we had a little bit of an incident with a back marker a little while ago as well. We need this Williams of Logan Sargent to get out of the way. We don't want him getting in the way of this battle. This is going to be the battle that really rounds off this weekend for us. But here we go again. This Nissan looking very menacing at this moment in time he's got to get out of the way is Mick Schumacher going to go past him he isn't Mick Schumacher is thinking about it he's lost a little bit of time there Mick but we have managed to negotiate it and we have still got DRS down at this next DRS straight here which is the important thing as Mick Schumacher Try, tries once again to just tag onto the back of Max Verstappen, lap 56. Lap 6 there, we've caught up to a gaggle of cars at the back and this could cause some serious issues with them getting out of the way. We need Mick Schumacher to really be aware here because he's got to get past these cars. We're going to tell him, look straight away, Max Verstappen losing a little bit of time and then Mick Schumacher losing a little bit of time as well. That's really got in our way there. It's not ideal at all for us. Verstappen's got DRS. And that has meant that Mick Schumacher now 1.1 seconds the gap to the cars in front. It's not on at all. Um, it's something that we know we have to cope with. But it's really not helped us here. And Mick Schumacher, who was totally looking like he could pick up his first podium, now has got a bit of work to do. And we haven't really got the DRS to do this either. So 1.2 seconds now the gap. We really need Mick, uh, we really need Verstappen to get held up by this Haas, which he hasn't done. The Haas has got out of the way beautifully there, or has it? Mick Schumacher now, looking to see if he can get round. He needs to get some DRS here. We're going to tell him to deploy, and we need him to catch back up to Max Verstappen here. He's deploying already. Can Mick Schumacher get DRS here and maybe, maybe get to back within a second of Max Verstappen? Max Verstappen isn't going to get DRS. The Haas is, and the Haas is actually attacking Max Verstappen. And now is he going to get out of the way for Mick Schumacher? 1.1 seconds now, the gap. I've got a funny feeling Mick's going to be compromised here. And five laps to go. And he definitely is. That Haas has done us absolutely no favours there. Mick Schumacher's doing everything he can to try and get back in this DRS. But unfortunately, the battery is empty and the bike markers have absolutely screwed him. Lap 62. Lando Norris not making this easy for me at all. He's causing me a few problems. He's had a little bit, bit wayward at times, driving wide. Um, at the moment, this moment in time, he's still on light like, tyre saving mode. He's got four laps to go. But look what Mick Schumacher's managed to do. He's pushed on the fuel, he's pushed on the tyres, and he's now back in the DRS. Providing he gets through this final section, he's going to be back in the DRS of Max Verstappen. Let's just make sure he is, and he loses a lot of time out of that exit. I don't believe he's going to get DRS here. Let's just keep a quick eye on him. He hasn't got DRS again. He's close, though. He's very, very close indeed. Mick Schumacher, lap 62. So here we go, then, ladies and gentlemen. It all comes down to this. It's Verstappen versus Schumacher for P3. His first ever podium. Can he do it? He's been told to be aggressive on the tyres. And hopefully, just hopefully, he can make a move somewhere. I'm not sure where he's going to make it. Lando Norris is leading. It's job done as far as Lando Norris is concerned. But can Mick Schumacher manage to get past the world champion in Max Verstappen? It's going to be so, so close. 
He's going to be told to use overtake. When he gets the chance, his best option is going to be down the DRS straight. But his teammate is now in front of him. Will Sean Leclerc manage to block off Mick Schumacher or give his teammate a tow down the final stretch? Let's have a look. Mick Schumacher looking to the left, looking to the right. He can't quite make a move. He goes for the wider line than Max Verstappen, uh, than uh, Mick Schumacher. Can he manage to get a win here, uh, a podium here? Mick Schumacher giving it absolutely everything here this afternoon. Lando Norris wins, we'll cut to him in a second, but I think Mick Schumacher is just going to miss out on his first podium as a Ferrari driver, and he is. Max Verstappen is going to get the podium. We will cut to Lando Norris' celebration scenes because Lando Norris, he hasn't been flawless today, but he's been incredibly effective. Lando Norris, brilliant work from him. And unfortunately, Mick Schumacher, those bike markers absolutely killed us. We'll now get to the podium celebrations and I'm a little bit gutted we haven't got two Ferrari drivers on there. Lando Norris can be proud. What a fantastic performance from him. This is a tremendous podium result. It's joy all around for the team. What a camera angle, by the way, that is. And after such a fabulous drive here today, it's no surprise to see this man land on the podium. I see what Crafty did there. Lando landed on the podium. Lovely stuff. We like a bit of that. Um, it's been a, a decent performance, I think, from us this weekend. Lando Norris, we possibly could have pushed the fastest lap. We didn't. Mick Schumacher had got that anyway, so the team's going to get that. Uh, Lando Norris wins, as you saw. Charles Leclerc, P2. Max Verstappen, P3. Mick Schumacher. Oh, my word. P4. Uh, Ocon P5, Magnussen 6th, Ricardo 7th, Gasly and Russell 8th and 9th, Sergio Perez 10th, not the best weekend at all for the McLaren boys. Driver standings wise, Lando Norris extends his lead at the top of the championship. So far this season, 5 podiums, 4 wins, uh, 120 points now, 14 clear of his closest challenger, Charles Leclerc. Sergio Perez just getting a point today in P3, Max Verstappen now up to P4 uh, and on 67 points, just a point behind Checo Perez. Mick Schumacher gains two positions, he's now up to P6, two past this laps this year, but yet to have a podium. Constructor standings wise, that's put us right back in the mix. Red Bull 33 points, but Ferrari 157, um, and that is going to put us 16 points behind. I have to do some very quick maths on the fly on here. McLaren are dropping down a little bit further to third now. The Lotus Renault Alpine is now up to P4. Great work from them. Aston Martin will be a little bit disappointed with that. I hope you've enjoyed that. I was fully invested in that Mick Schumacher fight. Lando giving us a bit of a scare now and again, but it's been a brilliant weekend in Spain for us, and I hope you join us on the next one. Sarah.